Over the last two years, I have gained a deeper understanding of this technology through various educational seminars and direct one-to-one -one sessions through IBM, Google, Microsoft, Intel, and others. These sessions helped analysts like myself come up to speed on the technology, its impact, and its future role in computing. Quantum computing promises to disrupt everything from healthcare to finance to scientific research, but only if it can overcome the significant hurdles that have kept it out of the mainstream. Earlier this week, Google unveiled its latest quantum processor, Willow. This chip represents a giant leap forward in the field. Based on its specs and capabilities, Willow could be the breakthrough that transforms quantum computing from technical curiosity to a practical tool. The first achievement is that Willow can exponentially reduce errors as we scale up with more qubits. This addresses a major hurdle in quantum error correction that researchers have been working to solve for nearly three decades. The second breakthrough is that Willow completed a standard benchmark computation in less than five minutes, a task that would take one of today's fastest supercomputers an astounding 10 septillion or 10 to the 25th power years. This number far exceeds the age of the universe itself. To put it in perspective, Willow's computational power is staggering. It can solve a complex calculation in under five minutes, taking the fastest classical supercomputer around 10 septillion years to complete. Yes, septillion, as in a one followed by 24 zeros. This astounding feat demonstrates the immense potential of quantum technology. But what makes Willow even more important is how it addresses one of quantum computing's most persistent challenges, error rates. For nearly 30 years, one of the fundamental roadblocks for quantum computing has been its reliability. As quantum systems add more qubits, the quantum equivalent of classical bits, they tend to become more error-prone. That's where Willow's design is a game-changer. It reduces errors exponentially as it scales up its qubits, a feat that no previous system has come close to accomplishing. Willow doesn't just add more qubits, it makes them more reliable, an essential ingredient if quantum computers are ever going to tackle real-world problems. Willow marks a monumental milestone in a journey that began more than 10 years ago. When they established Google Quantum AI in 2012, our goal was to develop a useful, large-scale quantum computer that could leverage quantum mechanics, the operating system of nature as we currently understand it, to benefit society by advancing scientific discovery, creating useful applications, and addressing some of the world's most pressing challenges. As part of Google research, our team has carefully mapped out a long-term vision, and Willow takes us a significant step closer to achieving commercially relevant applications. One of the major challenges in quantum computing is error correction. Qubits, the fundamental units of quantum computation, are prone to rapid interactions with their surroundings, making it difficult to preserve the information required to complete calculations. Generally, the more qubits are used, the higher the error rate, and the system may default to classical computing. Today, in a study published in Nature, we demonstrated that with Willow, the more qubits we incorporate, the more errors we can mitigate, making the system increasingly quantum. We tested progressively larger arrays of qubits, from a 3 by 3 grid to 5 by 5 and then 7 by 7 And with each step, using our most advanced error correction techniques, we succeeded in halving the error rate. This results in an exponential reduction in errors, a historic achievement known as below threshold. This breakthrough is essential for demonstrating meaningful progress in error correction, a challenge that has existed since Peter Shore introduced the concept in 1995. Additionally, this result is significant because it represents one of the first successful implementations of real-time error correction on a superconducting quantum system, a crucial feature for practical computations as errors need to be corrected quickly to prevent them from disrupting the process. Furthermore, we've achieved a beyond break-even result where the error-corrected qubit arrays maintain longer lifetimes than the individual physical qubits themselves. This is a clear and undeniable sign that our error correction techniques are making a substantial impact on the system's overall performance. As the first quantum system to operate below threshold, Willow is the most convincing prototype of a scalable logical qubit we've seen so far. It's a promising indication that we can build truly large and useful quantum computers. Willow brings us closer to executing practical, commercially viable algorithms that classical computers cannot replicate. To measure Willow's performance, we use the Random Circuit Sampling, RCS, benchmark, a test that was initially developed by our team 
and has since become a standard in the field. RCS is considered the most challenging benchmark that can be run on a quantum computer today. It serves as an entry-level test for quantum computing, proving whether a quantum system can outperform classical computers in a meaningful way. For any team working on quantum computers, demonstrating success on this benchmark is crucial. Without it, there's little reason to believe that the system can tackle more complex quantum problems. This benchmark has been a cornerstone for evaluating progress between successive generations of quantum chips. With our Sycamore results from October 2019, and those from October 2024 serving as key milestones. Willow's performance on this benchmark is extraordinary. It completed a computation in under five minutes that would take one of the fastest supercomputers today. Frontier, an unfathomable 10 to the power of 25 years to complete. That's 10 septillion years. This astonishing number not only defies the known timescales in physics, but also far surpasses the age of the universe itself. It lends credibility to the idea that quantum computation could be happening across multiple parallel universes, a notion that aligns with the multiverse theory first proposed by David Deutsch. These latest results represent the best performance we've achieved with Willow so far, and we will continue to push the boundaries of progress. Our comparison of Willow's performance against Frontier, one of the world's most powerful classical supercomputers, is based on conservative assumptions. For instance, we assumed unlimited access to secondary storage, such as hard drives, without factoring in bandwidth limitations, a scenario that gives an unfair advantage to Frontier. Of course, as we observed after our first Beyond Classical computation in 2019, we expect classical computers to continue improving in this area. However, the accelerating gap between quantum and classical computing suggests that quantum processors are advancing at a double exponential rate and will continue to outperform classical machines as we scale up. Willow was created in our new, state-of-the-art fabrication facility in Santa Barbara, one of the few facilities in the world built specifically for quantum computing. System engineering is essential when designing and producing quantum chips, as every component, from single and two-qubit gates to qubit resets and readouts, must be engineered and integrated to work seamlessly together. If any component falls short, or doesn't integrate well with others, the overall system performance is compromised. Therefore, optimizing performance across the entire system informs our approach from chip design and fabrication to gate development and calibration. Our focus is on quality, not just quantity. Increasing the number of qubits doesn't help if they aren't of sufficiently high quality. With 105 qubits, Willow now delivers best-in-class performance across both key benchmarks, quantum error correction and random circuit sampling. These algorithmic benchmarks are the best indicators of overall chip performance, though other factors like T1 times, which measure how long qubits can maintain their excitation state, are also critical. Willow's T1 times are nearing 100 microseconds, a remarkable five-fold improvement over previous generations of chips. Looking ahead, the next challenge is to demonstrate a truly useful, beyond classical computation on today's quantum chips that can address real-world problems. We are optimistic that Willow and future generations of chips will help us reach this milestone. Up until now, we've run the RCS benchmark, which compares quantum and classical performance but does not yet have practical applications. Additionally, we've conducted simulations of quantum systems that have led to new scientific discoveries, though these are still within the computational grasp of classical systems. Our goal is to achieve both to develop algorithms that are beyond classical reach and applicable to real-world, commercially viable problems. Some of my colleagues often ask why I shifted my focus from AI to quantum computing. My response is that both AI and quantum computing will be among the most transformative technologies of our time. But advanced AI will greatly benefit from access to quantum computing. This is why I named our lab Quantum AI. Quantum algorithms have fundamental scaling advantages, as evidenced by our work with RCS, and there are similar scaling benefits for many tasks essential to AI. Quantum computing will play a pivotal role in areas like collecting inaccessible training data, optimizing learning architectures, and modeling quantum systems. This will enable breakthroughs in fields such as medicine, electric vehicle battery design, and other energy solutions. 